Good morning, AMUMC. It is Monday, March 23rd, 8 a.m. I just wanted to let you know I've had to change locations. I have to share this house with people. Who knew? Today I've made a few changes and I want to encourage you. You can use the app, My Daily Office, but also I want to encourage you just to close your eyes and pray along with me. And when I say uh, the Lord's Prayer or the Apostles' Creed, things that you know, repeat them out loud with me. Otherwise, just use this time to be in prayer. Before we get started, I wanted to show you um, all of the morning readings. I'm not going to read all of them. Uh, we're going to read Mark and a Psalms, but this is all of them in case you want to look them up later. Let's begin. Let's take a moment to center ourselves, close our eyes, take a deep breath, center ourselves and enter into prayer. Opening verse. I will arise and go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Now, let us take a moment of silence to confess our sins and acknowledge our need for God's grace and forgiveness. Together we say our confession of sin. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought and word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your way. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever will be forevermore. Amen. A reading from the book of Psalms, 89, 1 through 18. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I shall make your faithfulness known through all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you established your faithfulness in heaven itself. You said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever. I will make your throne firm through all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord your faithfulness too in the assembly of your holy ones. For who in the skies above can compare with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the heavenly beings? In the counsel of the Holy One, God is greatly feared. He is more awesome than all who surround him. O Lord Almighty, who is like you? You are mighty, O Lord, and your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule over surging seas, when the waves mount up, you still them. You crushed Rahab like one of the slain. With your strong arm, you scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and yours also the earth. You founded the world and all that is in it. You created the north and the south, Tabit and Hurum. Sing for joy at your name. Your arm endured with power. Your hand is strong, your right hand exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are those who have learned to proclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence. O oh Lord, they rejoice in your name all day long. They exalt in your righteousness, for they are your glory and strength. And by your favor, they exalt your horn. Indeed, your shield belongs to the Lord. 
our King and our Holy One of Israel. Today's Gospel reading is Mark chapter 7, verse 24 through 37. As I read these words, close your eyes, envision what is going on, look for what Jesus is saying to your heart. Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it, yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an evil spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she replied, but even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply you may go, the demon has left your daughter. So she went home and found her child lying on the bed and the demon was gone. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of Decapolis. There, some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly hear, and they begged him to place his hand on the man. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to the heaven and with a deep sigh, he said to him, Ephata, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement, and he has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we respond to these readings, let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we continue our prayer, let us boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now, let us take some time to lift up our petitions, intercessions, and thanksgiving as we share a moment of silence. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth. Your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.